What's up guys, welcome back to Vlogmas day 12. I'm about to show you guys my favorite spot where I get my empanadas from. Hopefully they have beef. Hola. This is actually my favorite spot where I come to get the empanadas. They make the best ones. So if you come to Jackson Heights, you definitely gotta check them out. They make the most delicious empanadas. My favorite ones are beef, but right now they don't have beef until later. They only have chicken. Okay, so when you get these, they give you some of these babies right here. One of the best hot sauces I ever tasted. Gracias. Mm. Gracias. So this is where they're located. Definitely come check them out. They're right across the street from the hospital. Believe me, you'll thank me later when you try them. He's not kidding when he says these empanadas are delicious. You have to try the beef and potato. I think that that's what it has inside. Beef and potatoes, they're really good. We also have mama's empanadas around here, but I kind of had a bad experience when I was in high school eating that. So these are really good, but you have to have them with the sauce. Myself. I'm trying to be cool like yo guys check this out and I just burn my fingers they straight out of the oven or wherever they make them they're super hot if you're lucky enough to come here and they have beef just remember one thing we send you even though we already ate four chicken ones we have five beef ones it's all good we have enough space for these Grayson already had breakfast but when he smells these he has to have some he already ate a chicken one you want some beef gray uh, 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 okay I got you this is a little ASMR for you guys Look at that, like a smoking gun. I think these are good. Stop that, please. You have to have the posto bone. This one's the cola one. It tastes exactly like the red uh, country club red sodas, one. the Dominican ones. And then red. the manzana. I red love one. Too. Red you want the red one? But you don't drink soda. Let him try. He's not going to like He's it anyway. He's not going to like it. Look, you're, you're going to see. Exactly. You don't like soda. Agua for you. Here. Posto bone. Shout out to the manufacturer who made this. You guys are geniuses. It's good with a Colombiana too. Ooh. This is good. We like to drive all the way to Queens to have these right here. That's the only reason we're here. Well, not really. We're here for other reasons. But whenever we're now. in the area, we always have some of these. It's been a while though. Yeah, a couple months. We'll see you guys in a minute. We're gonna finish these up. Target. I'm gonna do some shopping in Target today. Is it that cold? It is that cold. <sighs> it's like your brain doesn't want to function when you're out there. But I need to find the restroom. I can't even think straight yes, until I find first. it. Yeah. Good thing we don't have to go downstairs. We're on the right floor. If you can't already tell, we're at Target, and the purpose for coming here today is because we don't wanna be scrounging around last minute looking for Christmas gifts, so we're gonna start that today and hopefully find a way to get some gifts for Grayson without him freaking out and wanting to open them right on the spot. You know how little toddlers are. And also get me a present. Oh God, we're heading towards the electronics section now. I wanna show you guys what we pick up, but I kinda don't because we don't know where the present's gonna end up. We don't know who exactly from the family we're gonna end up giving the gift to, so it's kinda complicated right now, but you guys will be shopping with us right now. So while we're here at Target, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of deals they have right now. If you watched the vlog where I showed you guys how to break this and put all the free movies, the channels, you could pick this up, install that. It will make a perfect gift. Over here, we have the Xbox section. I'm not an Xbox guy, but I know a lot of guys are. But look, you got great deals, $64. 
is for 54 dollars now i know you ladies might think it's hard to please us we're really not that hard to please i know it's really hard to find gifts for men but listen if he likes the game you got a bunch of games here you can pick up and they're on sale remote controls are never a bad deal they always wear out so it's always good to have extra ones if your man husband or boyfriend doesn't have anything to play with you can get him a playstation an xbox they're all right here they're pretty cheap if you've been keeping up with vlogmas you saw me playing with these they're on sale right now they're only $39.99. You can get the ones I got. That's pretty heavy, but at the same time, those will last you forever. They're really good. So like I said, if your man, husband, or boyfriend likes the game, you could definitely pick up some of those. This is the new GoPro Hero 8. This is the 7. And as you can see, the 7 is actually $300 now. So it went down now that the 8 one came out. You got a bunch of accessories here you could buy with that. So yeah, if you're not sure what you want to get your man, your husband, or boyfriend, you can definitely pick him up an action camera. Also, if you're ready to start your channel already and you want to start filming, you can definitely pick up one of these cameras right now. They're on sale. This Canon Rebel T7. This is a kit, so it has everything you need. It has a bag, it has extra lenses. If you purchase this now, you could definitely save on the purchase. See, I'm into stuff like this. This is a wireless turntable. If somebody gave me this, I'd be happy because I'm into stuff like that. I like 12 inch vinyls and it's actually wireless, which is what I like about it. And most importantly, it's on sale. Look at that, 62 bucks. You can't go wrong with that. I don't really shop for a lot of electronics at Target, but when I have good deals, I definitely take advantage. Usually where I get my electronics is from B&H. But like I said, if Target has a good deal, I'll definitely go pick it up there. Now, if your husband, boyfriend, or friend doesn't like electronics, you can always pick him up one of these. He gotta like football. If he doesn't like football, what are you doing with him, girl? Then of course you got your bikes. Personally, if someone gave me this, I'd be super happy. A bike is always a great gift for someone, especially men. You give this to your husband, your boyfriend, or friend, he's gonna be super happy. And look how cheap it is, $119. So you can't go wrong with that. Even if the person drives, they will always appreciate a good bike. I think this one's a good one. You also have this one right here, which is actually a little bit more expensive, but I think it's because it has more gears and it just looks better. Now, if your man is into the fitness thing, these are good to have in the house. I used to have these. I don't know what happened to it. I think when we moved, Kim threw it out. By accident, we're not really sure. These are actually really good to build up strength. I used to love doing pull-ups. I need to start doing that again. You know I had to give you a little bit of a woman's perspective when it comes to giving gifts, right? So I know that a lot of people, like myself, like to cook. And it's always a good idea to give something that's meaningful, like a cookbook. So if you know somebody who's keto, something like this would be a good idea. They have some more down there. Another one right there. You have Chrissy Teigen. I heard she has some pretty good recipes. Then you have cookbooks from the OG chefs, like my girl Rachel Ray. I was probably the only kid who used to sit there and turn on Food Network for the fun of it and just watch that for hours and hours at a time. So somebody like me would really appreciate something like this. That's a great gift for somebody who maybe just bought a home or just something to give someone when you know they kind of go into a funk when they're cooking and it gives them ideas of things to make. I personally think that mugs are always a good idea. They're very affordable and who doesn't love a cute mug? You have so many options. Like this. Greetings from my bed. You know, you always want to get one that says a cute quote on it. I really need a day between Saturday and Sunday. Come on, that's cute. If you know a couple that just got married, if you have an adventurous friend, women empowerment for a foodie, for grandma, for the friend that's never on time. But I personally think that if you're gonna get a mug, you have to go with the big ones. These are the good ones. The big old cup of Joe cups. And this one says, mama needs some coffee. Actually, I really like this one. I might get it for myself. We're gonna take a look around my favorite part of the home section, which is the Chip and Joanna Gaines section. They always have some cute stuff. And from what I've seen, everything is pretty reasonable. So let's see what we find. What's a good gift to get from here? If you kind of know the style that they have going on in their home, throw pillows are always a good idea. I know people who would appreciate something like this. You have another cookbook from my girl, Joe Gaines. They have a bunch of dish soap and hand soap. I'm not sure how they smell, but you could always put these in a nice little gift bag and give it to someone.
by the way for those you wondering was this on the side people think it's like a baton but it's actually not i actually rigged this little thing together this is a camera holder for one of my small cameras this is my invisible selfie stick for my 360 camera this is impossible to keep in your pocket so i keep it there yeah that's what that is i know it looks weird check out this heated throw blanket it's 29 dollars but 10 percent off it's 26 so you save money and you stay warm then you got this thing right here oh i love this as you've seen on TV. These are cool things right here so you can give to people because they actually seen them on TV. I'm not sure if any of you ladies do, but I know Kim sleeps with a pillow in between her legs all the time. So this will make a perfect gift for Christmas. It has a washable cloth so you can take it off and wash it because you know, you gotta keep it clean. And for men like Jesus who actually fix stuff all the time, this is perfect. Right now it's $10 and I heard that it really works. They were actually talking about this during Superstorm Sanding, saying that the people were putting them in their restaurants along the edges no. and that it kept the no. water out. So that's a good gift, 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. Here's another cool one for Kim, an Uv glove. I'm not sure if it works, but it will make a cool and a great gift for Christmas. And here's a great one for the iPad people. You can use it when you're sitting, when you're lying, and when you're standing, and it's really soft. Here we have some tools for your dad, for your boyfriend, for your friend, whatever. Tools are always good, they're always handy, and they're good to keep around. Even for the ladies. Can't forget the ladies. You know I got these? Oh yes. You can get me this for Christmas, the holidays, whatever. I'll be happy. Huh? Oh. Mm. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you can't forget about your ex-boyfriend and your ex-girlfriend this Christmas because it's just not ethical and it's not right. So, you gotta make sure you pick them up one of these. Okay. You can't forget accessories. Chicks love to glam up. They love to accessorize. So, these are always a good idea. And accessories don't only mean jewelry. You could get handbags. They have small ones, big ones. You can get some sunglasses. Allow Jesus to demonstrate. Eric Estrada looking. I like watches and who doesn't like to switch them up? These are super affordable. This one right here is only 20 bucks. This one's really pretty. How much is this one? $16.99. A cute watch under 20 bucks. And last but not least, what I love about this holiday season and every holiday season is that during this time of the year, if you know somebody who loves beauty or loves taking care of their skin, they always make it easier for you by having little holiday sets. So for example, you have some face masks, little highlighter sets, only five bucks. These are all gifts under $10. I mean, this one's $12, but it's still cute. Little makeup brush set. I don't know how good the actual brushes are, but maybe for a beginner, bath salts. Throw these in the bathtub, make them smell really nice, sit down and enjoy yourself, have some quiet time. You know, these make nice stocking stuffers or if you want to get a little bag, stuff them with a bunch of these cute little things. Some nail polishes in there, the bath salts, three triple baked highlighters for five bucks. You know, another Santa bath bomb, but you also have things like this, body wash, this one smells like gingerbread apple cinnamon they have this for your hands this is a hand repair kit just things that you can get people for them to pamper themselves whenever they need some relaxed time they have a little gift set of some perfume samples you have a ten dollar eyeshadow palette all neutrals and you have some more gifts here for under 15 bucks 
So they give you options and women love anything that's sparkly and looks cute. It doesn't necessarily have to be the best quality when you're getting a gift. It's the thought that counts. Sometimes you don't have it like that. You can't go out spending big bucks on every single person. That's always a nice option to just go to sections like that where everything's under 10 bucks, under 15 bucks, and then it gives you a bigger chance of getting more people gifts. So we're gonna finish up our shopping over here. We still got a lot more things to pick out and then we gotta head home and upload this video. Yes. So we're gonna end this video here. But before we do that, we have to give you guys your shout out. The person that was the first comment that popped up, I know you guys sometimes see it as this blank and then we'll see them come in a different order than you'll see it being posted on the video, if that makes sense. But the first person that left the comment was Saqib Islam. They did say first comment, so I don't know if that really counts. Technically it is a comment yeah. because is in the comment section, but the first person that left an actual sentence is Nancy Orta. Yes, Nancy. Which she wrote, yes, I'm ready, Mezamov, which we're always ready, and I'm glad you guys are ready and have the notifications on and ready to watch us. We appreciate that. Yes, and she's been with us for a while, so thank you so much, Nancy, for being a supporter. Thank you for having your notifications on, and thank you guys for watching this video. We're going to see you guys tomorrow for, what's tomorrow? Day 13, baby. Day 13. Today's the 12th. On the 12th day of Christmas, Manolo came to me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Actually, we lied. The video's not over yet. We wanted to stop by our goal post to pick up a package that Cindy sent to us for our baby boy Grayson. Cindy, I just want to say thank you so much for thinking of my boy. I know you guys do not have to do this, send us packages or anything like that, but we do appreciate you doing it from the kindness of your heart. So, before I freeze to death, I'm going to put in the code so I can get this package out and we can head home before it gets too late. Three, one, one. Thanks again, Cindy. This is probably gonna be one of those packages that we let him open before Christmas, just cause I know he's gonna be just as excited. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wow, and then this package right here is actually from my cousin. He sent me the tracking number for this today and it already got here. So as soon as we unbox this, I'll be showing you guys.